All right, we're back at it again. And we're doing my red lipsticks. I needed a break, a break from the pinkies. Pink shades that I have bought. Still another bag of like another pink lot of colors. Oh, there's a pack, there's a, no. There's a bag of brown ones. So I'm really confused what's in there, but oh well. I thought I'd do red. Let's give this a whirl. So starting off, I have my Da Vinci. I put this one on first because I knew that I just wouldn't get rid of it. And I, I love like, I love the vibes of this marbled red. It is probably a bit cheerier than I do actually like, but I bought this after a particularly bad day and it just makes me happy. So this is the Rouge Revelateur. It's just, it's pretty, I like it. It's probably not a formula I'm super into, but I, I'm keeping it. Oh, sorry, counting. We have 15. I'm very glad about that. My lips are going to be very happy. <laughs> let's see how red, <laughs> red is just going to go everywhere. All right, let's go in with a mini I have from Colourpop and Ultra Satin. This is London Fog. All right, I'm into the shade. I like it. And I, I do have a thing for minis. All right, um, let's try this Colourpop Lippy Stick. It is, ah, oh, Fab Five. Mm, this is like a dark wine shade. I think it could have its moment. I think I could find the look for this maybe. I feel like it needs even heavier. Like I think I feel like it needs really heavy makeup. So it's staying for now. We will get rid of some, I promise. So ages ago, I don't know if I ever seen the advertise about um wantable. They're not really a thing anymore, but they used to send makeup uh subscription boxes and they used to send them to Australia. I used to pay a fortune for shipping. But this is how I have a Besame lipstick that I didn't know what it was. <laughs> I got it. So this is cherry red. It's got like that fun, stupid way that they've done it. Where it's like, doo doo. I remember it came with instructions on how to apply it. Oh, this is like hard. This is the hardest formula I've used yet. Mm. Like, it's just, it's hard to put on. It's a nice color. I feel like Besame is a little bit special. And I think maybe it just needs a bit more finessing than I'm in the mood to do with the amount of lipsticks we're, we're going through. So, staying. Oh, let's do one that I think I will get rid of. This is a Lancome 324. Why don't they have nice names? I don't know if this is a red though. Oh, but that formula feels so nice after the Best May one. Let me know if you have a Best May lip and what you think of it. I mean, this is a bit like just loved. That's why I'm going to get rid of it. But it, it's not a bad shade. It's fine. We have Lasting Finish by Kate Lipstick. And this is number 30. I'm more into this than the other one from Colourpop. Oh, but they all kind of look the same to me after a while. I'm just going to get rid of this one because I can't be bothered fishing out the other one. Oh, it's Rimmel. Rimmel London. I mean, it's nice, it's not bad, but like, I feel like I've, we've just seen this shade, haven't we? Or haven't we? I'm like, I'm so confused. It, it all looks the same to me at this stage. All right, let's go on with Colourpop. And I've got Foolish. This isn't, this is in the red bag. Or oh, maybe I decided it was a red brown. Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. I like that shade. Is it like a red orange? I don't know, but it's bomb and it's staying. Let's do another Colourpop. I've got Paparazzi Matte. I'm pretty sure I do really enjoy this one. I'm sorry, I do like de tend to warn you that I'm not the best at choosing colors. And when I was sorting these all out, I wasn't in the mood. Oh, I love the formula. Mm. So like light, I can barely feel it on it. I love that color. Dang. Yeah, so I will list all the colors below. That I swatch, in order. I stubbornly refused to count them prior to organizing because it looked quite large and intimidating and I didn't want to know. <laughs> um, so this is Too Faced Cinnamon Bear. This is from their Christmas pack. I'm like, I, I just, I love, I love a mini. It's nice. It's not bad. It's, it's a beautiful red. But yeah, I did actually sit down when I was filming these and go through and swatch absolutely every single lipstick in my collection on my hands. I filmed it, but I realized that I didn't have it organized. 
So I think I've got like an hour, an hour and a half of swatches that are fairly unusable. Let me know if you would like to see me swatching all of my lipsticks with just like some music or I mean I could talk over it and um, try and entertain you. <laughs> or I'll just leave that footage in the vault. That doesn't really exist. Um, so this is a MAC lipstick and I'm a Tang. I imported this from the US. Because I really like Nima. Nima? Nima? Nima. I want to support her and I knew this would be a beautiful red, which it is. That's a beautiful red. Alright, so we've got another MAC. Uh, no, no, another ColourPop. And this is a Mind Trick. I haven't really used this one much. I think I like Foolish more. I think I'm happy to just let this one go. I, I don't need... Let me just swatch it in comparison. So this is Mind Trick and this is Foolish. It's just, yeah. I like Foolish better, I think. The minute, yeah. So, Foolish is out. No, the Mind Trick. Mind Trick is gone. Don't confuse me. It's myself. Alright, this is Bodyography. Ooh la la. I don't even know how I have this. I know I wouldn't have bought it. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, it smells nice though. It's a nice one where it's nice light, but I feel like we've seen this already. I've got the Fenty one, and this is Cotton Candy Venom, which I feel like is a pink. Yeah, it's a pink. I don't know how it got in here. Oh, that kind of is. <laughs> I love it. I haven't really tried it enough to know how I feel about the formula, but at the moment it feels light. Semi moisturizing, and I just I love that bang. All right, we've just got two left. We've got Nars. Uh, this is Rita and Mona. Mona. These are from the Christmas lot that I got. I fairly worn them. Oh, like when I was buying these, two of them came in one of those packs. I feel like I really want to try this formula out a bit more. I do like that shade, and I love the mini. Um, it's nice, but we have already seen a swatch of this. I'm going to keep it because I can. All right, we are up to my lucky last one. Mona from Nars. Ooh, this is like a beautiful brown red, except for like, I look like a hot mess <laughs> around my lips. I'm sorry, but uh, this is probably like the 50th lipstick I've swatched. At a certain point, it just gets too hard. I'm keeping it predominantly because it's Nars and I haven't had it that long and I need more time with the formula. Uh, so we have decluttered four. Which is pretty good. To be honest, I'm surprised I threw out the Colourpop one. And yeah. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, let me know if you think there are any other shades that you think I should have decluttered. I'm always welcome me, welcome to thoughts on the lipstick shades. Um, I absolutely love hearing what you think about anything. Um, anyway, thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for stopping by today. I absolutely appreciate and adore you. Mwah.